Welcome friends. Now we are going to discuss about the final accounts of not-for-profit concerns. As not-for-profit concerns are not engaged in trading or business activities, they do not prepare trading account and profit and loss account. But in order to know the present uh, whether present income is sufficient to meet uh, the expenses of the organization or not, they prepare income and expenditure account and to know the position of assets and liabilities they prepare balance sheet generally the nature of uh, transactions of uh, not for profit concern is of cash in nature and at the end of the year they prepare the summary of cash book that summary is known as receipts and payment account now here we are going to discuss about the specimen formats of receipts and payment account, income and expenditure account and balance sheet of not for profit concerns. So here on the screen you can see the specimen format of receipts and payment account. So as uh, this account is uh, basically the summary of cash book, uh, it records all cash transactions during the year. This account receipts and payment account starts with uh, it begins with the cash in hand and cash at bank and on the debit side all cash receipts are recorded and the main uh, receipts of not for profit concerns include subscription entrance fees donation life member fees etc here you can observe that the receipts and payment account records subscription received for previous year for current year as well as for next year it means irrespective of the income uh, of that particular year, if it is received in that year, it is recorded on the uh, debit side of receipts and payment account, right? So here uh, on the debit side, uh, we can observe that uh, major income or major receipts of uh, uh, not for profit concerns, which include subscriptions, entrance fees, donations, life member fees, legacy, government grants, contribution for annual dinner, sale of office furniture, sale of newspaper. Here friends, you can observe that even a sale of scrap material of the office, if it is sale, then uh, we receive the money. So it is recorded on the receipt side of receipts and payment account. Then sale of sports material, tournament fund receipts, price fund receipts, hall rent, interest on investment, dividend, sundry, uh, sundry receipts. So basically all kinds of cash receipts are recorded on uh, the debit side of receipts and payment account. Similarly, on the credit side of receipts and payment account, all cash payments are recorded. As uh, we have discussed that uh, the receipts and payment account uh, begins with cash in hand and a cash at bank. But if there is a negative balance in the bank account, it is uh, recorded as bank overdraft on the payment side. So here uh, you can see that by balance brought down. So this balance is of the bank overdraft. If there is a bank overdraft, it is re recorded on the payment side. Then all kinds of payments are uh, recorded, cash payments. So here uh, we can observe that purchase of books, purchase of furniture, then investment made, purchase of sports material, printing and stationery, prices paid, purchases of newspapers and periodicals, honorarium paid to uh, the guest, repairs and maintenance, annual dinner expenses, electricity, insurance, telephone charges, entertainment expenses, charity, audit fees, sundry expenses. So all kinds of uh, expenses uh, which are paid in the cash are recorded on the payment side. As we have already discussed that receipts and payment account is basically a summary of cash book. And it is a real account in nature. So it records only cash transactions. All receipts and payments during the year are recorded irrespective of they belong to which year. If received in current year, they are recorded in receipts and payment account. Then non-cash transactions are not recorded in receipts and payment account. 
this is one of the important point uh, related to no, uh, receipts and payment account that is non cash transactions are not recorded here examples of non cash transactions are uh, depreciation on the fixed assets so depreciation on fixed asset is non cash uh, item basically and uh, that's why this is not recorded in the receipts and payment account further <clears throat> credit transactions are not recorded in receipts and payment account if goods or uh, purchases are on the credit basis if goods are purchased or sold on the credit basis so those transactions are not recorded on uh, in the receipts and payment account so these are the uh, important points related to the receipts and payment account and this is the uh, specimen format of receipts and payment account friends uh, you have to memorize the important points uh, of receipts and payment so that uh, you can uh, easily prepare the final accounts of uh, not for profit concerns now uh, we are going to discuss about the income and expenditure account so here on the screen you can see the uh, specimen format of income and expenditure account uh, hence income and expenditure account is uh, same as profit and loss account but the name is different here because uh, the main objective of not for profit concern is not to earn profit but to give services to the society uh, so uh, they prepare income and expenditure account instead of profit and loss account here just there is a difference between name only all other things are same so on debit side we record all expenses and losses of the organization and on credit side we record incomes and gains so here uh, on debit side we can observe that to salaries and wages and uh, it, uh, uh, if outstanding salary or wages are there they are added to it so uh, we have to follow the normal rules of uh, adjustment of final accounts here also then printing and stationery bank charges rent and taxes postage and telegrams telephone charges newspaper and journals insurance place prepared if insurance is prepared then it is subtracted advertising expenses audit and legal fees expenses of annual dinner traveling expenses electricity charges sports material use repairs and maintenance miscellaneous expenses honorarium sale uh, on uh, loss on sale of assets depreciation on fixed assets so as uh, we have discussed earlier that uh, depreciation on fixed asset is non cash item so it is not recorded in receipts and payment account but it is recorded in the income and expenditure account right similarly uh, income includes uh, subscription received if uh, there is outstanding subscription it is added to it then uh, if outstanding subscription is at the beginning of the year it is subtracted then entrance fees received donations hall rent interest and dividend sale of all old newspaper contributions for annual dinner profit on sale of furniture sundry income all these uh, incomes are recorded on the uh, credit side of income and expenditure account as a uh, income uh, this account is uh, closed at the end of the year and if the incomes are more than expenditure there will be surplus and in profit and loss account we uh, name it as a net profit so net profit and surplus is uh, same thing basically right and uh, if expenditure are more than income then there will be net loss but here that loss is known as deficit right so here <clears throat> if income is more than expenditure there will be surplus and if expenditure is more than income there will be deficit and at the end of the year the surplus is uh, transferred to uh, balance sheet if there is a surplus it is added in the capital fund and if there is, there is deficit it is subtracted from the capital fund so friend uh, this is the specimen format of income and expenditure account now we are going to discuss about the uh, format or specimen format of balance sheet here on the screen you can see the balance sheet uh, has two sides basically liabilities and assets liabilities includes capital funds so as uh, this is not for profit organization there is no uh, word such as share capital but whatever uh, money they have that money is considered as capital fund 
and it is uh, treated as capital same as capital but the word is different and we uh, the donations are received and they are capital they are added to the capital fund if entrance fees capital it is added to it if, and uh, as we have already discussed that if there is a surplus in income and expenditure account it is added to the capital fund and if there is deficit it is subtracted right and all other uh, liabilities are recorded here like all kinds of reserves and funds are recorded on the liability side then if there are outstanding expenses they are recorded here if uh, on the liability side if there are pre received incomes they are recorded on the liability side that is subscription received in advance that is basically pre received income right and <clears throat> uh, if there is a credit balance in uh, income and expenditure account it is also recorded on the liability side on the asset side cash in hand cash at bank fixed deposit investment sundry debtors and all other fixed assets are recorded here right if, uh, including motor vehicle library book stock of sports material stock of stationery stock of drugs uh, drugs loans given accrued interest then prepaid expenses are recorded here outstanding incomes are recorded here that is outstanding subscriptions right so uh, this is the uh, format of balance sheet here friends you have to just keep in mind the uh, nature of incomes uh, or receipts of the not for profit concerns and uh, nature of uh, expenditure of the uh, not for profit concerns so that you can uh, rightly put those item as a income expenditure or assets or lab as a assets or liability right now uh, in final account generally question is uh, ask us uh, like this uh, in question uh, the receipts and payment account and some additional information is given and on that basis we have to prepare the income and expenditure account okay now see i am repeating it again generally in question receipts and payment account is given and on the basis of receipts and payment account and some additional information we have to prepare income and expenditure account and balance sheet for current year so here uh, the basic uh, logic behind this uh, uh, preparation of income and expenditure account from receipts and payment account is that see all receipts here uh, are recorded are uh, of the cash nature generally and those uh, receipts includes Uh, either income of the organization that is revenue income or uh, capital income so all these receipts uh, which uh, which are uh, of the revenue nature are considered as the income and they are recorded on the income side in income and expenditure account for example here uh, we can observe that subscriptions so subscription received for current year it is received so that's why it is shown on the receipt side uh, receipt side and if it is given in the questions and if the question is uh, that we have to prepare income and expenditure account then we will record this subscription on the income side okay here so by subscription and if there is outstanding subscription we will add it and if uh, there is a subscription which is not related to the current year we will subtract that here in the uh, income and expenditure account on income side right on uh, similarly on payment side you can observe that we generally make payment to paid expenditure or to purchase the assets so for example here purchase of the books we are not going to record this in uh, in income and expenditure account as a expense because purchase of books so books is considered as asset as an asset for that organization so so Uh, this is shown on the asset side then furniture so basically we have make payment to purchase the furniture so it will be shown as an asset on uh, in the balance sheet then books investment sports material all these points can uh, be shown on the asset side here uh, repairs and maintenance so if we have make payment for repairs and maintenance it is basically expenditure so this repairs and maintenance are shown on the uh, debit side of income and expenditure account then electricity charges are shown as expenditure insurance paid telephone charges entertainment expenditure so all these uh, payments which are uh, of the revenue in nature are shown uh, as expenditure in expenditure uh, income and expenditure account so basic point uh, here is that 
uh, while preparing income and expenditure account uh, from receipts and payment account we have to just uh, uh, consider uh, whatever expenditures are there out of the payments and uh, we have to sort out the uh, incomes from the receipts okay and we have to record those uh, expenditure and income in the income and expenditure account similarly the question can be asked like this from uh, income and expenditure account we have to prepare the receipts and payment account if question is like this again we have to uh, relate this thing to the accounts that expenditures are generally uh, made uh, in payments um, they are made by making payments so if the year two salaries and wages are there so it means we have make payments so salary and wages are shown on the payment side if printing and stationery is there if we have uh, made that expenditure it is shown on the payment side right again if uh, income uh, is uh, in the form of subscription so it means if we have received the subscription then it will record it on the receipt sites okay so in this way <clears throat> we can prepare income and expenditure account uh, from receipts and payment account or on the basis of receipts and payment account we can prepare income and expenditure account similarly on the basis of income and expenditure account we can prepare receipts and payment account so friends uh, uh, now i would like to stop here but uh, make sure that you have subscribed the channel because I, uh, I am going to make uh, the detailed videos uh, with uh, solutions. We are going to take a practical question on this topic and we are going to solve this uh, here. So make sure that you have subscribed the channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching.